gonna let the car charge up a little bit, but I'll explain to you guys what I wanna do today. Uh, I'm gonna try to get all this dust and dirt off and see how the paint is underneath here. And I'm gonna need to repaint the trunk, so I'm gonna take the trunk off. I'm just gonna detail the whole car, detail it inside and out, and try to restore some of this paint. Hopefully it'll come out up here and it'll uh, look nice and shiny, but the trunk for sure will need to be repainted. I'm hoping I could be able to save everything else because it's all original paint. So I'm gonna be polishing, clay barring it, washing it, and trying to get the dirt out and stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to save this paint. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna wash the car first and clay bar it. Then I'll probably bring it inside and try to polish out all the dirt and everything. Okay, so I washed the whole car and it looks like uh, the only thing that needs to be repainted is the trunk. So I'm gonna remove the trunk now and try to remove these badges without breaking them. Right, Austin? Okay, I removed all the badges. The Mercedes emblem is just uh, pushed in these holes. Doesn't even have any glue, but these were all on glue. Just came out with my hands, didn't break anything. Pretty easy. So I got everything removed under here. It's just on three screws for the lights. Uh, this one was spinning, but I held it from the back with the vice grip and I got the nut out. Uh, I took off the liner underneath here. It's all on clips. Then I took out the wiring for it, for the lights and the the uh, closed sensor, now I can take it off. Two bolts here, two bolts there. I should be able to get it off pretty easy. Here's the trunk on the paint side of the shop. All disassembled, ready to go. See, he's prepping other stuff for paint. He's gonna paint this tonight for me and I should be able to install it tomorrow. Yeah, things are moving fast. I'm excited. Got some dents in here that he'll he'll buff out or he'll get out right there. There's some up top too, but you can't really tell it, but it's gonna be perfect. So yeah. So the car has a lot of like dirt and just feels really unsmooth. So I'm gonna use a clay bar to try to get all the dirt out of the paint before I polish it. I'm gonna be using uh, Mother's Instant uh, this one, California Gold Kit. It comes with this spray, this towel, and this clay bar. It says to just spray this and clay bar and then wipe it down um, until the paint feels completely smooth. So I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start with the hood and then go around the whole car, try to get all the dirt out. So I clay barred the hood, looks better. But it still has swirls and scratches everywhere. So I'm gonna try to polish it out, scratch remover, see how it looks after that. 
Just after I polished it, now I need to wipe it down, but it already looks a lot brighter. Colors popping, but after I wipe it down, it's gonna pop even more, I think. So I did the door, the fender, and the hood so far. And it's a huge difference. The paint like pops now, it looks a lot brighter. Before it was dull and can't really tell on camera, but in person it looks a lot better. It's not the most perfect job, there's still swirls. But for me it's good enough, original paint. And if I wanted to go crazy, I would you know, repaint the whole car and take all these dents out, but for now I'm just gonna polish it up, make it look nice. So I finished doing the paint correction on the outside of the car, everywhere. Um, it's not the best. There's still obviously some scratches and imperfections, but the paint is super smooth. It feels really nice. It got all the contaminants, all the dirt out and just brought it back to life. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna sit here all day and polish it. I think it looks a lot better than it was. Um, I still got to do all the glass all around and then I'm gonna do the interior as well because it's pretty dirty There's like mold growing right here. You see that there's mold All over so I got to wipe it all down and clean it all up put some uh, leather conditioner on these because they, they feel pretty dry And yeah, I'm gonna do a full interior detail and this car will be looking brand new again. This is my parts W210. I'm gonna be stealing the wheels from it and put it on the 124 because the 124 has really old wheels and these are fairly new, in better condition. And I just like how these fit better because they're 17s 
They fill the gap really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna put those on. So I swapped the wheels. I think these look a lot better. Um, when you ride the Mercedes a little bit, then it'll lower down. That's why it looks so high up. But I've had this before. It looks really high when you first put them on, and then after you, you drive for a little bit, it lowers down the suspension. So yeah, it looks like a monster truck right now. Big wheels and tall suspension. But I think it looks better than the stock ones. It's the stock ones, they're super small. I think they're 15s and these are 17s. I like them. I like them more than the stock ones. Not mono blocks, but still looks good.